Did you fall off the fitness bandwagon? Hey, it's okay, it happens. Maybe you moved cities or shifted to a new job that no longer supported your fitness regime or got married or simply lost interest and left. And now, weeks, months, maybe even years later, you want to get back. Seems impossible, doesn't it? But it really isn't. Not if you go about it the right way. First of all, take a deep breath and calm down. Getting back to fitness can seem like a monumental climb up a steep slope. But if you start smart and start small, you can cover this distance fast without much pain and a whole lot more to gain. Start by meeting an expert and share your fitness history with him. Be brutally honest about why you stopped exercising in the first place and share your current limitations and your fears. Remember, your trainer is a professional and he would be able to provide you with a whole different perspective. Do a full fitness assessment with your trainer so that along with your history and your dream goals, you also have a very good idea of where you are at presently. Make a list of exercise programs you like to do and make a list of what you would like to achieve now that you are back. Once this information is on a piece of paper, it will stop looking so traumatizingly daunting, especially now since both you and your trainer are committed to it. And with this short meeting, you are good to go. Armed with this information package, you can now plan the perfect workout for yourself. One that's going to help you achieve your size, shape, strength, health and sports goals. Remember, goal setting is actually going to be your most important exercise. So set goals for yourself that are SMART goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time-bound. Your journey back to fitness is a reconditioning phase and it's a good idea to start with exercises that increase your range of motion. Incorporate mobility exercises like dynamic stretches into your workout. Reaching hip hinges can improve flexibility in your hips, in your hamstrings and your lower back. And this is especially relevant to all those who have been sedentary for a long time. Pull throughs and zipper exercises are excellent for increasing shoulder mobility. Stability in the joints is the next landmark for a safe journey back to fitness. So make sure that you take out time to increase the strength in the muscles that stabilize your shoulder, ankle and core. Internal and external rotation of the shoulder engages the stabilizing shoulder muscles. Single leg balances increases the mobilization of the muscles that stabilizes the foundational ankle joint. And for the core, a variety of exercises target the different muscle groups. Pelvic bridging activates the deep muscles in the core, as does the plank and lower back strengthening provides tremendous support for ailing posture. Cardiovascular endurance training must be another important component in your program, but the focus must be on increasing the duration of your workout rather than improving the speed. Aim to get in two to three hours of cardio a week. Keep intensity to a point where exercise seems hard but not exhausting. Starting strength training from day one is important but we recommend you begin with large muscle compound exercises rather than the ones that target small muscle groups. So aim to get in squats for the lower body, push-ups and pull-ups for the upper body. And if you find them too hard, no worries, start with the assisted versions of them all. As you progress into a few weeks of this basic program, you can slowly add more isolated muscle strength exercises. But remember, start small. Literally, choose the smaller weights with higher repetition. This way, you would be targeting endurance, not hypertrophy. Go for the large muscle compound exercises and follow these up with the small muscle isolation exercises a little bit later. More than 70% of the people who begin to exercise simply quit. But not you, not this time. Keep a journal and keep a tab on your progress. And once you start looking and feeling great, let there be no turning back. <laughs>